TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. Uh, today I want to do to, to do a quick video on the core clock lock feature in Hive OS. Uh, after I released the video yesterday of the uh, 3060 LHR, I went back and was looking at some of my core clock locks and realized that I may be using this incorrectly. So what I want to show for the example here today is the 2070 Super we've got here. So uh, we're getting 44.85 mega hash on Ethereum at 108 watts, and we've got the core clock locked at 1100. So I'm gonna go into the overclock settings here by clicking on the dial for overclocks. And you can see we've got the core clock locked at 1100. And let's look at some of the popular presets for Ethereum on the 2070 Super. So we'll select Ethereum. The algorithm is ETHash. And you can see this setting that I'm using of a core of 1100, MEM of 22, we bumped ours up to 2300 and a power limit of 125. Uh, is a fairly common setting, cardinality of 23, 3%. And let's go back and look one more time at the instructions for the lock core clock. So if you hover over the information button, you can see here the core clock field is a smart field that depends on the value entered into it. If a number is greater than 500, it's treated as a lock core clock. Lower than 500, it's a core clock offset. So because we're using a value greater than 500, it is a lock core clock. So what that's doing is locking our core clock at a certain value that we specify. And if we look down here a little bit further, uh, lock core clock works on GPUs since Volta family. This parameter locks the core clock, which allows you to get a more stable hash rate, the same time lower power consumption. Suitable lock core clock values are divisible by 15 without a remainder. For example, 900, 1035, 1200, et cetera. So uh, let's take a look at our calculator. 1100 is not divisible by 15 without a remainder. So let's look at uh, another value of 1050 divided by 15. This is exactly divisible by 15, a value of 70. So real quick, let's go back and remind ourselves, 44.85 mega hash, 108 watts, and a core clock of 1100. That's our lock. So let's change this to 1050. And you can see when we do that, the lock core clock value is here. So let's get rid of that. So core clock offset, anything up to 500 and anything above 500. So we're going to do 1050. We'll lock our core clock at uh, 1050 megahertz. So we're not going to change anything else. We'll leave everything else as is. We're going to apply this setting. And let's give it a few minutes here, a few seconds to update. So again, we're at 44.85. And let's give this a refresh. One more minute. And let's try again. So we're starting to climb 44.96. Our power is still 108 watts in the software. Forty five point zero one. So basically what we're seeing here is by reducing our core clock to a value that is divisible by 15, we're increasing our hash rate. Now, is it possible that this card prefers a lower locked core clock? Of course. But is it also possible that using a lock a core clock value that is not divisible by 15 is negatively impacting the cards? I don't know the answer. We are up to 47, 45.17. So let's take a quick look here. So we were at 44.85. 
we're now at 45.17. So a change, uh, let's do this the other way, uh, 45.17, we were at 44.85. So we've increased our hash rate by 0 0.32 mega hash simply by dropping our core clock lock from 1100 to 1050. So again, is it because this card prefers a lower locked core clock or is it because uh, locking a core clock to a number that is not divisible by 15 um, is not advisable or doesn't work well? Uh, I don't know the answer. Uh, I have tested this with a few of my other cards. I have changed all of my locked core clocks to numbers that are divisible by 15 and uh, it allowed us to increase our hash rate. Now, again, I also increased the, the memory clock, but uh, our 3060, Zotac 3060 that we installed into this rig yesterday, we're approaching 37 mega hash with the core clock of 1530 lock and a memory uh, overclock of 2800. So if you have, uh, if you're using core clocks that are not divisible by 15 and you make the changes uh, let me know in the comments below if you see improvements in the hash rates. Uh, take them to the next number above or below your existing core clock to a number that's divisible by 15. And let me know if you see some improvements. All right. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching this video. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, you folks can see some improvements in your hash rates. Uh, again, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button and subscribe for additional content. All right, thanks again. Uh, have a great rest of your day and keep doing what you do.